Hey everyone, Mike Curtis here again, senior UX designer, helping you design how you are experienced by other people. And I'm excited today, I have another Medium article that I wrote that I would like to read to you. Um, and I have been sick for quite a while, so it's been a minute since I've been able to read one of my articles or even write an article. So I'm pretty excited about this one. And there are some visuals in this article that you'll see here in the video, but they might show better in the actual article over on Medium. So if you'd like to see those as we go through this, just head on over to Medium under my profile and you'll be able to see these. I'll link uh, the, the actual article in the description of this video. But otherwise, let's jump in. Uh, the title of this article is Redefining Your Creative Edge, The Power of a Product Design Line Card a new unique deliverable to have in your back pocket. And as I mentioned, this is one of the, the visuals that you will see throughout this article and it will show a lot better over on Medium. All right, let's get into it. You never know how you'll be found. What exactly do I mean by that? Think about it this way. You craft your resume with precision Curate your portfolio with your best work and share case studies showcasing your problem-solving prowess. You network, you connect online, you attend events, all in the exhaustive hope of catching the right eye at the right time. But amidst this craziness of self-promotion, there lies an unpredictable element to being discovered. It's not up to you how you'll be noticed and found. They might hire you because of your case studies. You might receive a great referral from a colleague. A job offer might simply come because they like your personality and see how well you'll fit on the team. That's what I mean when I say you never know how you'll be found. It's this uncertainty that nags at us to keep going, keep refining our work, continue polishing our website, and keep sending connection requests on LinkedIn. But how do you shine when everyone around you is just as shiny? I think I've stumbled on a new amazing tool that adds another dimension to how you present yourself to others, offering a unique blend of clarity, brevity, visual appeal, and instant impact. I'm calling it the product design line card. The concept of the line card comes from a different industry. Many years ago, I worked in the wholesale distribution industry, specifically for an HVAC which stands for Heating, Ventilation, Air Conditioning. Uh, I worked for an HVAC distributor. It's common in this industry for manufacturers and distributors to offer their customers a product line card. This is a printed visual document that shows customers at a glance the many products and services they offer. When I worked for this company, I designed their line card. Here's the version I designed. Uh, it's outdated since I left that industry, but hopefully this image illustrates what it is. And again, if you want to see this a little clearer, you can head on over to Medium, but hopefully this gives you an idea. So imagine you walk into a large store that sells everything you need to heat and cool your home. You're overwhelmed by choices, wondering what's available and who makes it. This is where a line card comes in handy in industries like HVAC or manufacturing. It's like a cheat sheet or a menu that lists all the brands, products, and services they offer. It's clear and concise and saves you from asking a million questions. In these industries, it's a super useful tool that helps customers quickly see what's available and make informed decisions. It's all about getting straight to the point without the fluff. Line card? Meet the UX and product design industry. Now take this line card concept and spin it over to UX and product design. Think of a product design line card as your professional highlight reel. It's a current snapshot, an immediate quick reference guide to your skills, knowledge, strengths, and the unique skill set you bring to the table. A product design line card represents the things you could bring to a company if they were to hire you today. In the same way, an HVAC line card simplifies a plethora of options into an easy to digest list, your line card distills your diverse capabilities into a neat, compelling package. A product design line card is not a resume. While a resume shows a detailed travel log of your professional past, the product design line card is more like a brochure, 
of your current skill set. Think of your resume as a documentary. It covers where you've been, where you've studied, the roles you've tackled, and the challenges you've overcome. It's comprehensive and still necessary, yes, but it's about your past. The line card, on the other hand, is like a trailer for an upcoming blockbuster. It's punchy, it's engaging, and it's all about what you can deliver right now. It doesn't just say, this is what I've done. It boldly states, this is what I can do for you today. It's this forward-looking approach that sets the line card apart, making it an invaluable tool for capturing the attention of those looking to hire not just a history, but a potential. Ready to create your product design line card? Now it's your turn to make one. Remember, a product design line card is, a per is personal and unique to you and only you. Mine will have different categories, strengths, and information. Here's a guide to create your own. Number one, reflect on your unique skill set. Your line card should be as unique as you are. You're not a one-trick pony. Start by reflecting on what makes you stand out. What are the skills that you're most proud of? Are you a wizard in user research? Do you excel in creating mesmerizing visual designs? Maybe your strength lies in understanding and translating complex data into user-friendly interfaces. Begin to jot down the makeup of your skill set. Number two, choose categories that represent you. While my line card included categories like human skills and connection and strategy and growth and leadership, yours might be different. It should be different. Think about the areas where you shine the most. Maybe you have a knack for AI and innovation tools or inclusive design practices or accessibility. You might even want a category for your accomplishments. Begin to organize and move your skills into these categories. Number three, be specific, but don't overdo it. It's great to be specific about your skills, but be careful not to bloat the line card just to fill it up. It's likely going to be easy to have a long list of skills if you simply start rattling them off. But I would encourage you to only add the skills that you know, feel confident in, and have experience with. Number four, if you can, showcase your impact. In addition to listing your skills, talk about the impact they've had. I understand this isn't always possible. Sometimes you can't talk specifically about the numbers or results. Be careful not to reveal any trade secrets or private company information. But if you can, I highly recommend it. How have your designs improved user experience? Have your strategies increased engagement or sales? What metrics did you move? This approach aligns the focus of what you do with what you achieve. Number five, keep it fluid. Your line card is a living document. As your skills evolve and your experiences grow, so should your line card. Regular updates will keep it fresh and relevant. I designed mine in Figma, so it's easy to jump back in and update it as my skill set grows. Number six, design matters. As a creative practitioner, how your line card looks is just as important as what it says. Take the time to design your line card. The design should reflect your personal brand. It's one more way to infuse your skills into a deliverable for hiring managers and recruiters in your network. This is your chance to pair a visual statement with a tangible billboard of your skill set. And again, I'll pause and just show you mine and then it's probably going to display better over on medium if you'd like to look there you never know what's going to make you stand out all right let's land this plane we've talked about the what why and how of making your product design line card now why bother simple because standing out in this industry is hard we all want to be seen, but getting noticed is like trying to be heard at a rock concert. Everyone's talented, creative, and bringing their A-game. And man, that can feel like an uphill battle. It's tough. You're pouring your heart into your work, juggling projects, constantly upskilling, and yet sometimes it feels like you're just another face in the crowd. How do you shine when everyone around you is just as shiny? The line card. 
Your line card is like having the spotlight on you in that chaos. It can make people stop and take notice. Get started on your billboard of professional awesomeness. Give them a glimpse of the magic you'll bring to their company. Your line card might just be the thing that makes you the unforgettable name on someone's hiring list. And I have one final request. If you make one, will you please share it with me? I'd love to see it. Connect with me on LinkedIn and share it in a message. All right. Thank you so much for listening. And I'm serious about that. If this resonates with you and you make a product design line card, I would love to see it. So if you want to, you can connect with me over on LinkedIn and share it in a private message. I think that would be wonderful. Anyway, I hope this helps. And if you like this video and this article, it would be awesome if you subscribed. And uh, that way I just know that uh, these are resonating with people. So hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks.